So you think that God might be leading you to serve him as a pastor. That's fantastic. And Concordia University, Wisconsin is a great place to study, to get ready for seminary, and to get ready to be a pastor. The first thing to do is to fully complete your application for Concordia University, Wisconsin. Make sure to talk with your admissions counselor and do everything that your admissions counselor tells you to do. Um, pay special attention to getting your FAFSA in on time so that you can find out what sort of a financial aid package you'll be able to get. Most of our students who are planning to go to seminary do a major in pre-seminary studies and a major or a minor in theological languages. The major in pre-seminary studies gives you a strong liberal arts base that prepares you to perform well at seminary. You get to take a few theology courses that you wouldn't be able to take at seminary, but we leave most of the theology courses for seminary itself. Our most important program is the theological languages program. If you end up doing a different major, not pre-seminary studies, not theological languages, please still plan on taking the theological languages minor. That way, when you get to seminary, you're ready to translate from the Bible, from the Greek, from the Hebrew, you're ready to go. The theological languages major focuses on Greek and Hebrew. The New Testament was written in Greek, the Old Testament primarily in Hebrew, and so we learn those languages so that you can read the Bible directly from the original. We really encourage you to at least take a minor in theological languages so that you learn Greek and Hebrew and you're ready to translate from the Bible as soon as you get to seminary. We encourage our students to consider taking a different major or minor as well. In fact, many of our students will take a major in pre-seminary studies, a minor in theological languages, and then another major or minor in a non-theological area. That gives you something to fall back on if your plan to go to seminary or to become a pastor doesn't work out. It also gives you a point of contact with other people who aren't planning to be pastors. Once you have your application completed and your FAFSA in, then it would be a good time to talk with me about your schedule for the fall. If you have any AP credits or transfer credits, make sure to tell me about that so we can uh, make sure that they show up on your transcript and also avoid scheduling you for those classes since you may already have credit for them. Normally, if students are doing a pre-seminary major and a theological languages minor or just a theological languages minor, we'll start them off with New Testament or Old Testament in the fall of their first year. The other New Testament or Old Testament in the spring, and then Biblical Theology the following fall. Those three classes are prerequisites for most of our other theology classes. So we get those first, and then you start taking other theology classes. If you're taking a minor in theological languages, you will probably want to start Greek in the fall of your sophomore year. So you don't need to take any languages in your freshman year unless you want to. Normally, we start Greek in the sophomore year. If you're a theological languages major, you will probably want to start Latin or German during your first year, fall of your freshman year, and then start Greek during the fall of your sophomore year. Normally, in the theological languages minor, you take two years of Greek and two years of Hebrew. If you prefer the theological languages major, that will add a year of either German or Latin, and then another year of Greek. If you want to take four years of Greek, that's possible too. Just make sure that you start Greek in your freshman year.